I wanted to make a part two because I promised that I would. I said that I would. Uh, I told my Egyptian subscribers, as well as my other subscribers, that I really wanted to give a more proper response to the game the other day. The other video you saw that was really short. It was just a music in my initial, like, hyped up happiness response to uh, Egypt's qualification to the 2018 World Cup. But I wanted to talk more about this match a little bit and to give a more satisfactory reaction to my country qualifying for the first time in a long time. Look, um... Mark Paselli, a one subscriber, asked me, uh, how did I feel when Congo equalized? <laughs> the Congo equalized in the 87th minute. 87th minute. Honestly, Mark, I felt like, oh, here we go. More of the same. My my Egyptian subscribers know exactly what I'm talking about. Here we are. We're gonna we're gonna let this thing go again. It's our last game at home. Then we have to play Ghana next month and probably lose there and not go to the World Cup. It was just my heart sunk to answer your question, Mark. My heart sunk and I was prepping myself for the same disappointment that I was used to time and time again. And then when Salah got that penalty, that penalty call, we had five minutes of added time, I my heart skipped a beat. Honestly, I, I felt like this wasn't happening. And when he scored that penalty, I, I, I fucking broke down. I broke down. First of all, when we went ahead against Congo in the 60, 61st minute, I believe, people were celebrating a little bit prematurely, I understand, because of the hype. I was like, no, 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 guys, guys, guys. No, 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 no. Just settle down, steer the ship, take this home, remain compact at the back, even push for a second to goal if we have to, to put this damn thing away. And then Congo equalized through a cross that that <laughs> one of their I forgot who scored. He, he was just wide open. There was no there was nothing at the back, and I just felt like oh my god. <sighs> so when we had the penalty. I want to invoke the words of another uh, football YouTuber that I follow called uh, Have Hope. He, he, he put it perfectly. He said, he said, if I'm going to take a penalty for my country to send them to the World Cup and I, I miss, like, I'll never forgive myself. I would personally refuse. I, I'd be like, no, 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 I can't. I can't take this. Somebody else has to take this penalty because... Please understand this. Let's put it into context. The Borg Al Arab Stadium holds 100,000 people. 100 and 100, 110,000, roughly. Egypt has a, a population of around 100 million. It's the second most populated country in Africa. I think Nigeria is the first. And coincidentally, Nigeria was the first country to qualify for the World Cup this year, too. But anyway, I felt like. If I missed a penalty like that, the whole pressure of a country watching me inside the stadium and outside, I, I just, I would lose it. If, if I missed it and I don't make it, <sighs> I mean, I think Salah has balls of steel. That can be the only explanation. Salah has balls of steel to take that penalty calmly, coolly, collectively under pressure, or on his shoulders. I just... And then when he made that penalty, this was like the 94th minute. We still had maybe a minute left. Maybe a little bit more. And when the final whistle blew, I just... I bro, I just, I just couldn't... I couldn't contain myself, man. 
it, it, you know what I have to say? This is sort of a tragic, there's a sort of tragic irony to this because this is easily our worst team in a decade. You know, Salah is pretty much by far and away our best player that we rely on so much. I mean, you can make a case as well for Ramadan and Hagazi, but, uh, you know, compared to that team we had back in 06 to 2010, I mean, that, that, that team would walk all over this team. I'm sorry. But these guys are going to go down in history. They're going to go down in history, bringing us to the World Cup. And all the stars we had that won three African Cups of Nations. See, because people forget, we won three African Cups in 2006, 2008, 2010. No one else has ever done that. And they couldn't get to the World Cup. For these guys to do it, there's a there, there's just it's tragic, but there's sort of a beauty in that at the same time. At this point, right now, I don't care if we get creamed at the World Cup. <laughs> I say I say that now, but then once we get to the World Cup, we're gonna be like, no, 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 no. I want to get out of this damn group. <laughs> um, but this means so much. This just means so much because we've been dying to get back at this stage. And to put this all into greater perspective, playing in the World Cup is an honor. It is not a right. 210 countries compete every four years for only 32 spots. And for this team, for my country, to finally be one of those 32 I just can't put into words how I feel. And I'm already tearing up talking about it again because it's just it's just too much. Like, it's finally happened. I've been used to heartbreak so many times. And the fact that I get to see Egypt play in a World Cup for the first time in my lifetime, like, that's just... I'm just so happy. Like... I remember after 2010, they had the whole revolution going on, and a lot of people lost their lives. The overthrow of the, the Mubarak government, just everything, the, the poor economy, just it just gives the country something to be happy about, isn't something to smile about, just all the trouble that we've been in for the last six years. And I don't even know what that is like to a large extent because I've been so thankful to live in the United States. But when I, every time I, 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 I visit Egypt, every time I visit, I see how desperate some of the situation for a lot of people is there. You know, money is a tight thing. The current government is not very popular. You know, it's pretty much a military dictatorship. And for these players to give us something, just give them something. It, it just, it means so much. It really means, it really means so much. After such a long time, too. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, going back to the World Cup. 